Greetings, hi, the war. I'll greet you, and welcome to Matchmaking Academy, where you are the star for all the wrong reasons. But don't worry, we are going to figure out what those reasons are and help you improve at Counter-Strike Global Offensive. All right, our hero today is the Headless Hobo. Reason number one, do not flash your teammates inside of the spawn, you filthy noobs. The Headless Hobo, our hero today, is a silver one player. Dots here. That's right, folks. They jump across and then smoke the cross. Makes perfect sense to me. We are diving in head first, back into the Silver Leagues, back to basics. We are 20,000 Silver Leagues under the sea of newbiness. Isn't it about time you folks came up for air? All right, let's see what how oh my goodness, what I know! Got here. Be kind to Silver One players. They are new. They are trying to learn this game. Do not say any nasty things about them in the comments. Don't yell at them and call them a noob like I just did. All right, so let's slow this down and check it out. Now notice his crosshair placement kind of, well, jumping over the side is kind of weird, but crosshair placement kind of makes sense. He just doesn't seem to have a very good grasp of basic shooting mechanics. So let's check out another example before we hop in game and of, of just basic shooting mechanics that he did wrong. Check this out, he just ran right out middle. We have to keep note of that. We've slowed it down once again. Hey look, there's a bad guy. Oh my gosh, I better nade him. This guy actually is down to five health and he manages to not kill him as this guy like jumps over the side. Watch this shooting. Oh my gosh. Oh, he got him a little bit there, took him down to one health. Don't worry, there's more shooties on the way. See, he puts his cross here. Well, that's a little bit low obviously, but oh no. Not even close, not, this, you know, there's no auto-aim, this is not Call of Duty. There's no aim assistance in this game. It's all up to you, buddy. Let's fast forward here a little bit as he gets to his next engagement. His next brilliant engagement, here we go. Look at this crosshair placement. It is actually not bad for a silver player, look at that. But, guys up there, oh my gosh. So I'll say it again. Then listen very carefully. I'm going to pause the game in order to say this. This is Crosshair Placement 101. This guy seems to understand the concept of it, but a lot of you out there watching may not understand what he was doing actually right with his Crosshair Placement. Here it is. I'll say it. Listen carefully, because I'll only say it three times. I'll only say it three times, and that's it. Always keep your crosshair pointed at head level where an enemy may be. Always keep your crosshair pointed at head level where an enemy may be. Always keep your crosshair pointed at head level where an enemy may be. That's right. Watching those corners for that enemy to come around. Right at head level, not at the ground, not at the sky, not at the side, not through the wall, not all the way over on the other side of the map. Just put it right at the corner where the guy may appear from at all times. That is crosshair placement. Let's hop in game. Careful, War Al, you might get sued. All right, here we are. We are in game. We've got our M4. We're looking down around the corner here. There's a guy right here. We know he's there. Now, the question that I ask this player is, why did you run down these stairs? You know that the T's have mid control. You know that they're down there. It's super dangerous to walk down here. Look at this. If you set yourself up in a position like this, where you can watch where these guys are, um, up on top of this box is another spot like that, it makes it really difficult for them to push. The other thing you could have done is just fallen back and held this position right here behind this pillar. I have no idea why this player decided to just foolhardily charge in and try to take out the whole team like that. Game sense does matter, even at the Silver Leagues, it's not all about learning to aim. Of course, game sense will mean a hill of beans if you don't know how to move the crosshair and click on a guy. Now, we saw him kind of flick and, and it was really, really crazy. Let's go back to this middle spot, because that was a little better. When this guy jumped over the side, it, it should just be easy to just go boom, okay, kill him, right? But the player, I think he tries to go too fast. He moves his crosshair to the point, the next point, the next point and all the while clicking and moving. He's gonna go all over the place. This is, let's just go back to super, 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 super basics of movement. You've got three things in your movement, all right? You've got your mouse moving this around. That is your right hand. You've got clicking. That's your finger, your right hand finger. Then you've got your movement, your left and right, your left and right, your front and back, your front and back, you're jumping, you're ducking, that, you're, you're shifting. That is all your left hand. You need to come up with a, a marriage of your left and right hands. When I was playing the violin, I learned a lot about how to play Counter-Strike. I know that sounds really weird, but I did. It's about communication between those two parts and coordination. And with Counter-Strike, you have to get it exactly perfect. Same thing with violin. You gotta get it perfect, left hand, right hand. Little techniques. 
And it's actually very similar, which is cool. Okay, so we saw that player moving around when he was trying to shoot. Let's just watch where these bullets go as I'm moving. Oh my gosh, they go everywhere. How do you even hope to hit somebody? He's just relying on luck. You cannot rely on luck in this game. I mean, you can, but you'll stay silver one forever. You gotta aim. So when you have to stop moving when you shoot. A lot of players will move side to side like that, and when you change directions, you're able to shoot an accurate shot. When the player's jumping over the side, he's not in any danger of getting shot, right? Because the player's jumping, so he should just stop completely still and then shoot the player. Now, I don't even have to go into, like, spray control, right? Okay, look at that. They all went to the same spot. Cool. You can follow that guy as he jumps across with that spray control. The other thing is, he seemed like he was overshooting here quite a bit. He would move past the guy, move back, move back, move back. You have to move a little bit smoother. Follow the guy. Move exactly where you need to. And again, I think that this player just needs to slow it down a bit. Not try to flick like a pro and get that perfect shot. But just slow it down and try to gracefully follow the guy. As you're moving around the corner, just keep that cross here, right here at head level where that guy's going to be, and just gracefully. Look at that. When the guy moves, move a little bit and shoot him, right? You can't go that fast. You can't just start out at a full sprint. You gotta learn how to walk first, right? You gotta learn how to run first, right? You can't just sprint right out of the gate. You ain't no racehorse! That was a little bit much, and I apologize for that. Either way, slow it down and work up to that. Get in some deathmatch, right? Try to work on your aim. Okay, so the game sense part of this play. Here's the game sense. Don't run out middle! Don't pull out a nade at the point like right here where there's one, two, three, four, uh, five, uh, six, uh, even behind you, I guess, seven different places you can get shot from. Look at this. Right in the middle of the place, pulls out a nade, completely exposed, should have died, definitely should have died. What are you doing? Just hold right here. If the guy's up short, you can watch it from here, right? If he jumped, you'd kill him real easily. Just All you had to do was just click once and hold it right here. Why'd you run out? Same thing with this bot. Why'd you run down here, buddy? You just gotta hold your angles, think about where your teammates are, where the terrorists may try to go. You as a CT do not have to push them. You can hold the position. Put yourself at a corner, like right here. If they start pushing, you can shoot a few shots and then run. And you get out of there. You've given them that position, but you've had a chance to kill them. Have to think about all these things while you're playing, Mr. Silver One. We're gonna get you out of Silver League, don't you worry. Thank you so much for the Headless Oboe for sending in this demo. Look, exactly what we're talking about with his aiming there. Exactly. Poor guy. This is his Owl Vision, guys, and he's doing the stuff leading up to it. It's Silver 1, so it's probably going to be one of those silly Owl Visions like the, uh, the shotguns and stuff. Alright, let's get an Owl Vision. I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer.